What's up guys, Earl here of Fugitech, and as most of you are aware, more and more 5G-powered smartphones are being released in the Philippine market for some time now. What's great about this is that it's even getting widely available for the affordable ones, the ones below 16,000 pesos we mean. So if you are living in a 5G-covered area and want to take advantage of 5G without breaking the bank, then here's a list we prepare for you. Please do take note that the smartphones listed in this video are those priced under 16,000 pesos and officially released in the Philippines. Alright, first up is the Oppo A74 5G. This one arrived in the country last April 2021 and it sports a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD panel, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 5G processor, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, and a 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging. It also has quad rear cameras and 16 megapixel selfie shooter. The Oppo A74 5G comes with a price tag of 15,999 pesos and it is available via Oppo's official store on Shopee and Lazada. Zada. Okay, so Poco is one of the brands known for its value-packed smartphone offerings, and for the brand, we have the Poco X3 GT 5G. It sports a 6.6-inch display with a 120Hz refresh rate, and it is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 1100. For the battery, we have a large 5000mAh capacity with 67W turbo charging. In addition, it features triple rear cameras and a 16MP front shooter. Unfortunately, this device doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but we have an IR blaster so we can use it as a remote. Gladly, its 6 gigs plus 128 gigs of internal storage model fits under this budget umbrella at 15,190 pesos. Next, coming in a different pop of colors, we have the Galaxy A32 5G. This is Samsung's first affordable 5G smartphone offerings in the Philippines and it features a 6.5 inch HD plus DFT display, a MediaTek Dimensity 725G chipset, and a 5000mAh battery. The Galaxy A32 5G with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage model is priced at 15,990 pesos. If you are eyeing on a more affordable 5G smartphone from Samsung, perhaps the Galaxy A22 5G is for you. It is currently Samsung's cheapest 5G smartphone in the country to date. It boasts a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus TFT Infinity V display with a 90Hz refresh rate, a MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G processor, and a 5000mAh battery with 15W fast charging. It features triple rear cameras with 48MP main, 5MP ultrawide, and a 2MP depth sensors, while up front we have an 8MP selfie camera. The Galaxy A22 5G with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage variant is priced at 13000 190 pesos. Moving forward, OnePlus also has an affordable 5G capable smartphone in its arsenal. I am of course talking about the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. It sports a 6.49 inch Full HD Plus display with a 90Hz refresh rate, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 690 CPU, 64 megapixel quad cameras, and a 16 megapixel front camera. OnePlus may have dialed back the processor on this device, but it hasn't sacrificed battery life for this phone. It packs a 4300mAh battery with 30 watt warp charging, which can only charge the device for more or less than an hour. The OnePlus Nord N10 5G with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage variant arrived in the Philippines with a price tag of 14,990 pesos. And then we have the Realme 8 5G. This device is slightly better than the 5G ready Poco M3 Pro and Redmi Note 10. It comes with a 6.5 inch Full HD LCD, a MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G, and a 5000mAh battery. It features triple rear cameras with 48 megapixel main, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensors. For selfies, it has a 16 megapixel front camera. The Realme 8 5G with 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of internal storage variant is priced at 11,890 pesos. Another Poco smartphone on this list is the more affordable Poco M3 Pro 5G. Looking at its key specs, it has a MediaTek Dimensity 700, a 90 Hz refresh rate display, triple rear cameras with 48 megapixel main shooter, and a large 5,000 mAh battery, and it's looking perfect for a starting price of 9,000 pesos. This is one of the most solid 5G smartphones that you can get with the mid 
French qualification. So it's a perfect choice for you if you are on a strict budget but still want a phone that is reliable enough for your day-to-day -day casual use. The Poco M3 Pro 5G with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage variant is at 11,990 pesos, while the 4 gigs plus 64 gigs of internal storage variant is priced at 8,990 pesos. Of course, the list wouldn't be complete without Xiaomi. So next on our list is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G. Many sacrifices were made to make it the cheapest 5G smartphone in the country. Nonetheless, if you don't mind the trade-off this phone has then it's definitely for you it sports a 6.5 inch full hd plus ips dot display with 90 hertz refresh rate a mediatek dimensity 700 5g soc and a 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging it's also got a triple rear cameras and an 8 megapixel selfie camera the xiaomi redmi note 10 5g is priced at 11,490 pesos for the 8 gigs plus 128 gigs of internal storage variant and 9,990 190 pesos for the 4 gigs plus 128 gigs of internal storage model. Lastly, we have the Motorola Moto G50 5G. So Motorola has come a long way as a phone brand. It's one of the biggest manufacturers out there alongside Nokia. It's still here and has made its presence more known in the mid-range market. And now it's back with the Moto G50 5G. This smartphone sports a 6.5 inch IPS screen, a MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G SoC, and a 5000 mAh battery with a 15 watt fast charging it also has a triple rear cameras consisting of a 48 megapixel main a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensors while up front we have a 13 megapixel selfie camera the Motorola Moto G55 G with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage variant is priced at 10,495 pesos so what do you guys think? Which among of these 5G smartphones do you think is the best to get? Well, do let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.